And we're live. <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome, welcome podcast listeners out there. Uh, I am the Western Wonder, and you're listening to yet another episode of the Western Reviews podcast that I'm sure will go down in stressful editing history. We're going to go on for a little bit of a while. Um, <laughs> if you're a dreamer or you believe that dream work makes the team work, teamwork makes the dream work, I'll do it back this time. This may be your episode as this time go around. Uh, we'll be doing a top 10 list of our favorite Disney movies. That's right, I said R, because I'm not alone once again. Uh, I have the honor of being joined by my recurring guest. Uh, this is his fourth time joining me? Yeah, fourth. Yeah, fourth. Uh, he's very kind, he's very charismatic, and he's very funny. And I'm glad to have him on again. Uh, he's come a long way. <laughs> If we got a longer way to go down this road of podcasting. So please, if you could give a warm welcome wherever you are listening to this to Mr. Curtis Elton. Uh, we might need to let Elton John know that he's still got to relate because they still got the same name uh, from the Listen, Listen, Listen podcast. And if you don't clap, I'll just put some applause in the post edit. Mr. Curtis Elton, how are you doing today, sir? How I you- am good today, sir. All right. Very that's good. good. How are you doing? Well, I can't complain, you know, after getting the new pet, you know, it's very uh, exhilarating, you know, I got bigger energies now that I'm going out and getting my vitamin C. <laughs> C is it? C or is it D? C or D? I, I don't know, but we'll see. We will I, have to see. We will have to see whether it's a D. Don't really. I don't know where that was going, so I stuck. I tried to remember my notes thinking that, oh, of course I can complete the joke, but my mind short circuits and. I, I forgot how to complete it. So, yeah. Boom, another failed joke. But that's okay. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Yeah, I'm giving you room to speak. Yes. Yes. I was quiet. I, I was expect So, then just in case you were about to make an edit, I was just giving you some room to speak. Yes. I appreciate it. You're welcome, it. by the way. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if this is your first time listening to us, just ramble the podcast, uh, and you're interested in figuring out how to see more of our episodes from each of our respective podcasts, please be sure to stick to the end of the episode. We got a lot to get into today with uh, this DreamWorks list. Uh, So without further ado, we're going to get into our top 10 of our top 10 favorite DreamWorks movies. Uh, DreamWorks has been around for about two decades, so we got a wide variety of animated stuff that we could pick from from this list. A lot of sequels, um, a lot of direct-to-video stuff, uh, and we separated live-action things because they're not properly di- uh, DreamWorks movies. They were kind of co-partnered with other big studios, you know, Warner Brothers, 20th Century, stuff like that. We just wanted to be 100% DreamWorks. <laughs> so we have no live-action in this list this time, no rock compared to Disney. So uh, Mr. Kurt, if you don't mind, I will let you start with your list at number 10, coming down all the way down to number one. We're going backwards like we did the last time. Excellent. <laughs> number 10. Uh, 10 is How to Train Your Dragon. Wow. How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah. That's the- uh, now, why did you like this one? Why did I like it? Because I like the story that, and it's a whole bunch of different it's different to the rest of them because it's got like a viking feel to it and it's got a viking feel and the dragons it's unique i don't know how to describe it so i know is that it's more like a drama at some points to a family at other points it keeps changing throughout to action at some points yeah and it starts and it starts off when they're fighting the dragons and i like the arc of it how they start to hate the dragons and then they finish off loving them. Yeah, that's why I liked it. That's why I liked it a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, How to Train Your Dragon, that's your number 10 pick? That's what we're going for? Uh, yes, it is. All righty, all righty. That sounds very good. Now, now that my number 10 pick is not exactly that, it might end up in my list. Just be surprised. Sometimes. Yeah. Let's, yeah, we'll find out soon. We'll find out, but starting off with my number 10 in my list, my movie that I wanted to start off in this list is, let me get it up here, Uh uh-huh, The Road to El Dorado. Do you remember this movie? No, I didn't see it on their website. Well, you know, (laughs) it's when a DreamWorks 
deeper movies. It wasn't exactly a blockbuster per se, uh, but <laughs> nonetheless, I enjoyed it. Not for the fact that, you know, it's more known nowadays for some of the more edgier adult humor that was featured in this movie, but rather the themes of uh, two friends going on an exploration uh, in Latin America. I believe that's the location. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong out there. Um, <laughs> I think it is. Yes. Think, yeah. And they go out on the exploration and learn some things and go out to, you know, figure the goal and meet interesting uh, faces. And, you know, what can you, what you, you never go wrong when you have an Elton John soundtrack to there, you know, you got Curtis. Does? Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at it now. I don't think this was on their websites, but it does. No, wait. Ooh. Right now, what you're hearing is is an emotional roller coaster of me discovering new things. Wait. Ah. Oh, sounds good. Wow. Who? <laughs> oh, that's bad. Oh, I like that. I'm just looking at it. It looks like a good movie, and I assume they're going. For the on an adventure for gold. Yes, correct. correct. Excellent. Good. It's a lot of fun and uh, very colorful, might I add. It kind of gives me uh, Emperor's New Groove vibes. I know that's not a DreamWorks. I'm sorry, Disney, but it gives it gives me that vibe. <laughs> I still don't know that one. I don't know that one either. I know, I know, I know. I wanted to surprise you on that one, too. <laughs> you did, you did. And I might have to Google it and then go through that roller coaster again. But I'm not going to, because I need to tell you my number nine. All right, your number nine pick. Let's hear it. <laughs> nine. No, you're unable to. Uh, You know what? I'll tell you it. It is Turbo. Turbo. Uh-huh. It is. It's interesting. It is. It's about a snail who is a very quick snail. He moves at a snail's pace, but a very quick snail's pace. He it and the movie itself isn't very slow. It's a very quick movie. Uh, what do I mean by that? I mean it's got a lot of action in it. It's in racing. It does. It does. Yes. And spoiler alert, today, as a new part of uh, this show, we are going to tell you how the movie ends and who dies and who survives. Oh, yes. I, w- I will tell you who dies and who survives. I mean, I, I mean, a-, a lot of people survive, but it's like we got to give out our-, our respects to one particular character in this movie that uh, dies, not in the metaphor, it's just like his body has left this earth, but rather his career is probably over. <laughs> I like the colors and I like the voices in it. Yes, uh, there's a lot of voices and in it. I like the yeah the visual effects. Even though it's all animation, it's still got some nice visual effects with the energy and the speed. Right. Exactly. Did you like the movie? Uh, well, yes, I have. I actually had it on. Uh, I have it on DVD, but it's a good movie. Uh, might not make my list. It might make my list. You have to wait on that. But I did enjoy like the the speed theme. You know, a fast snail. You know. A lot of snails that we've seen in media are very slow, like take SpongeBob's pet Gary from his show. Very slow, but, you know, has some skills, especially when he's deep down within his shell. He can speak and talk like a human being. And that's that episode was weird. But anyway, that's Nickelodeon. This is DreamWorks. Uh, this movie was just, you know, <laughs> all around fun. Great voices. I keep forgetting, like, you know, Samuel Jackson doing the voice of uh, the, the, the one snail, kind of like a mentor like snail. Wasn't really expecting that, you know. <laughs> Forget that he's done a DreamWorks movie. But all around, you know, I agree with you. It's good. It's good. But whether it makes my list or not, that's up for us to find out as we go along the line. <laughs> it's a top ten list, and when I went on their website, there were only around 15 to oh. pick. So I'm not sure where you're looking at, but uh, that uh, ain't DreamWorks. Well, I might have looked at the wrong place. Might have looked at some other studio. That's on me. Disney. Because we've already covered that. Right. Check right. out that episode. Check out that episode. Yes. I was getting into a plug. Right. Do a little, right. just a little plug. plug. You did good. You did good. You did Thank good. You. No problem. No problems. Perfect. So that's your number nine. My number nine is something completely different. I think it's pretty on brand since it's uh, based in, uh, well, at least the, anima- the animators are based 
in your home country of the UK, my number nine pick is Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. And that's better than Turbo? What? You know, <laughs> that old childhood thing kicking in again, you know. <laughs> this is going to be hurt, I'm sure. Maybe. I've never seen it. I, is that the one with the goat or the sheep? Um, I think the sheep is Shonda's sheep. Uh, Grummet is a dog. So, yeah, that okay. might be mixed up with Shonda's sheep. Oh, it's a dog. Yeah, it's a dog. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, Wallace and Grummet. Um, now, this one is a little, my memory is a little shady, but I definitely remember, like, uh, it's slow moving at some part. Some moments a little more fast paced. You got a nice little blend of both and comes out to be a little bit of an interesting movie about uh, a transformation from human to rabbit. <laughs> now, fun fact about oh, this film, I think. I don't think this is computer animated. I think this is made from clay models. That's right. And I think they make the clay, and then they take pictures of each tape. They uh, take a picture of each clay in each position, and they make a lot of those pictures. Hold on just a moment. Hey! Hey! hey Grummet. Yes, that, that's not Grummet. That's... <laughs> Yeah, we, we, we have my own little Grummet. I would say she would be like a Grummet, but it's not like right, because Grummet's a little more quiet. <laughs> but interruption aside, yeah, like I said, Wallace and Grummet is a really good movie. And you got to check it out. I'm surprised you haven't. No, I haven't. I, I might have seen a 10-second clip of it and not liked it, but I'm not sure if that was that. I could be thinking of Sean the Sheep or Wallace and Grummet. They're very similar. They're, they're very similar. Uh, Farm Again, remember? Or Well, I've heard of it. I know it got nominated. The one that, the one that got nominated for some reason. <laughs> well, we know why it got nominated, you know. Uh, coronavirus, you know. That's a big reason. Oh, why. yeah, that, that's why. Yeah. You know what? I should have made a film. Maybe that would got nominated. Number eight. Number eight. All right, what's your number eight pick? <laughs> My number eight pick is Monsters vs. Aliens. Oh. That's a surprise. Explain what? Surprise? Shouldn't be. I I showed you the list beforehand. Well, yeah. (laughs) I thought you, I was trying to, you know, get my early Oscar contender uh, pick in there, you know, for best surprise performance. (laughs) (laughs) Well, (laughs) Well, you got it. Oh. Well, this is why I like it. When I was going through the DreamWorks list, I like the the voices. I like the people who do the voices. The what is it? What are they called? Uh, voice actors who do the voices. They have uh, the cast of this is a very good one. They have uh, the bar. They have all the main. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's got a very good cast of this as I'm going through it. Uh, it's got it's a great movie. It's a lot of fun. It's funny. I liked the story. I liked how it went. Uh, mm-hmm. It's only number uh, eight because the rest of my choices are not to over say them, but the best, uh, the best list you've ever seen or heard before. So that <laughs> is why it's only number eight. But it's a very good movie. I like the characters, uh, and it's a funny film. All right. I think they were, I think they were going to make a sequel to it, and it base canceled it. It might be due to the box office, you know, the money. No, think, no it did well on it. Oh, it did. Yeah. Uh, am I thinking of the right film? I'm not sure. I heard <laughs> they were making a sequel to it, and it, it got canceled. Well, uh, you might well, be right. A different film. You should, you should probably cut that out so, again, we don't get sued, but no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no confusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I will say, Monsters vs. Aliens did get a television oh, no, show. No, no, no. I got it. I got it. I was right. Monsters vs. Aliens 2 was a planned oh. sequel, and it got canceled due to poor box office performance in the first movie in certain areas around the world, even though no, when I just right. looked at There we go. Even though it did very well, and it's got a good rating, so I don't know why they canceled it. Always trust but the, the sequel wouldn't best. have been good. The sequel wouldn't have been good. I like the original. Did you like the film? Uh, well, the, the film was okay. Uh, like I said, it's, 
is to be determined on whether it'll be on my list or not. But I I, I had fun. The, the the little monsters are very diverse. Um, <laughs> I I don't know. You know what I didn't like? Character, though. I liked when they uh I liked when they went into the secret container base into the secret base, and there was this man running, and there was a whole bunch of ways to unlock the door. So he had to run up. He had to put his hand, his eye. Uh, he had to sit on his toilets, and then he had to do a uh, keep on running, and he had to do his face all to get into a door. All the uh, security measures. That was funny, and not to spoil it, but I've spoiled it, so it's too late. So I might as well just carry on spoiling it because you cannot spoil a thing that's already spoiled. Uh, so uh, after that, really, who dies is a bad person. So there we go. Your choice. <laughs> who dies is a bad person i like that just just move on to the next one <laughs> my number eight pick is uh b-movie <laughs> only number eight surprise yes. surprise you like i'm sure the sheep is your first <laughs> well I, it should be a top ten list how many movies did you see that were from dreamworks because i only had a list to pick of around 15 um, I've seen around, okay, I'm trying to be generous here because I know there are DreamWorks movies that I have seen, but I haven't seen the whole movie. Um, around 15, because I have, 15, 20, because I have five honorable mentions. I don't know if you got honorable mentions or not, because like I know you said. <laughs> I don't, but I can, uh, but I probably know some. Uh, I thought they only had around 15, but you're saying they have lots. And they have TV shows, but we're not doing TV shows. We're doing movies. Yeah. B-movie is really funny. Uh, Compared to my number nine and number ten entry, they're a little more serious. At certain points, they do have their humorous moments, but a little more serious. B-movie is is, is a lot more humorous than those two. And just following this journey uh, of a bee who goes out of his hive to actually see how humans operate and eventually figure out how uh, their honey is being used. <laughs> it, it was interesting. So there's a little message uh, implemented in there, you know, about bees, you know, being helpful for our societies and all. So you, you can dig deep in that. You got to watch the movie. It's really good. It's really good. So and, that's and most, your description of the film? Yes. <laughs> I think we watch different films then. I got a completely different type of movie from that. <laughs> You tell me what you got. <laughs> I'll tell you when it's. I get to it's on my list. Oh, all right, all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure. When it's on my list. But I, I see where you're coming from. I thought it was more like a, like a giant sketch or like a, what humans do, but in a bee world. But yeah. that's enough. From I'll get to it later. In a two-hour-long documentary special about the bee movie. And then most importantly. It's got jazz. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I had to put that in there. <laughs> you like jazz? But yeah, B movie's good. Some uh, some very well known voices are in that, so you gotta check it out. Uh, movie going to number seven. Seven. Number seven, Kung Fu Panda Two. Uh-huh. Kung Fu Panda 2. Sequels aren't as good as the originals usually, so that's why it's higher up my list. But Absolutely. they were both roughly just as good as each other. Uh, just the uh, original, I guess, is more memorable. But they were just as good as each other. They it had a good storyline, and it, it had a very good storyline. And uh, again, the voice actors in it were very good. They're very famous, and... Yes, Mr. Mr. J B. It, and <laughs> yeah, and the and here's what I do like, uh, which it gets bonus points for. The title is exactly the same as what the movie's about. It's about a panda who does kung fu, and it's a second version, so it's very original. Right, kind of very seems, original. Uh, yeah, everything but B movie. <laughs> So far, that's in my list. It's exactly what the movie is about. Roll down Actually, the rock. all these things on my list. How to Train Your Dragon. It's a movie about training dragons. Right. Turbo, I guess, gets away, but Monsters vs. Aliens. They're, 
I go to hand it to DreamWorks. They're very good at this naming thing. Yeah, very good. I, I think that's that's top notch naming. Uh, whoever named these movies based off of the plot should get a, a major paycheck, but preferably. Yeah. What do you do? What's it about? Dragons. What are you doing? We're training them. And do you know how? Maybe. So why don't we call it How to Train Your Dragon? Right. Just makes sense. It makes absolute sense. <laughs> What's your number seven pick? Well, while we're on the topic of dragons, <laughs> my pick is How to Train Your Dragon 1. <laughs> Same as mine. Uh, that was my number 10. But why is it your number seven? Well, you know, it's the childhood thing again. Like I could echo from what you said earlier is the, the theme of adventure and the action. It's, it's an all around good movie. The characters and Vikings, you don't really see that with a lot of DreamWorks movies. I know Disney did something similar with that. Disney, you can sue me on this one. Um, I know they've done stuff with. Oh, Vikings. and they will. They will. Right. Like Brave, for example. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> So to uh, do those themes of Vikings, it was a little interesting. They don't really dig deep into their lore, but to see how they, you know, work together in society and these dragons come in, it's very interesting. <laughs> and, you know, the relationship between the dragon and the lead, it's adorable. And, and, they're, and they're fun together. So I like it. I understand it. And that's why it was on my top 10. It still is a great film. Uh, not as good as the other ones, not as memorable, but it's still great. But I do like the second version of it, the sequel of it, where it's funny, but at the end it's also sad. Ha! Yeah, man. But I'm not going to discuss that because that is may or may not be on my list. Oh! Spoiler, it isn't. Oh! <laughs> now, any more to say about that? And that will be all. Ah, well, as far as Gump once said, that's all I have to say about that. Now, number, yeah, number six, Madagascar, Europe's Most Wanted. Ah, now, is this on brand because you're from Europe, or is is it deeper? (laughs) It it goes down to my childhood, a very deep, deep place in my childhood. Right. Yes, and here's the thing about that. It reminds me of many many years ago back in a long time ago when many things happened so that's oh. why i picked it so right. as you can tell it's very deep so so you were you were doing a performance in monte carlo when all of a sudden all these random animals just bust into the building of the casino and started to you know go crazy yes but most shockingly it's when i saw a zebra wearing a clown hat <laughs> I know exactly what scene you're talking about. I'm just remembering it. It's a little more memorable because, you know, it's recent, so. (laughs) Well, that's, as you can tell, it's deep. But now to the more shallow parts of it. I didn't pick it because of any of that. I picked it because it's a funny movie. It's got a great, it's got a great cast and great people voicing it again. And it's funny and it's, I mean, Da, 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 apple circus, da, 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 apple circus, apple circus. I thought it only came out a few years ago. It turns out it came out a long time ago, around 10 years ago. Yeah, 2012. Yeah. It did. So nearly 10 years ago. I thought it was more like five. But what do you know? 10. Who knew? We're getting old. I didn't. But most people did. But it's a great film, and it's got it's got a great plot. Uh, for me, the best bits were... I've forgotten. Anyway, your choice. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. That was like your favorite bit. I was just the Afro Circus flashback. Oh, that was yeah, fun. that's the best bit. That's my favorite bit. And, and the police officer randomly breaking out into song. Uh, doing yeah, no, <laughs> like, not what? that bit. I I I don't remember that, but I do remember. It, yeah, uh, I don't blame you. It was with very random. Just shooting, yeah. Her shooting with a with a car, and then she shoots and knocks everyone out. I think that was funny yeah. with the accent. With the accent. It's a funny accent. No offense to French people, but it is. Oh. <laughs> I hope they don't feel offended. <laughs> well, yes, that is your number six pick, Madagascar 3. I think the second one's really only well known because of one particular meme that I am about to bring up. But um, Go in, on. The, 
Yes. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the animals go from New York to Africa where uh, they reconnect with uh, some of their kind, like uh, the lion Alex meets his father and his mother while he's there. Spoiler alerts. Um, <laughs> Marty gets with his own kind. There's just a bunch of talking Marty zebras. They all sound the same and they all look alike. Repeating from what I said, you know, animals going back to Africa to get with their kind. And it's a very more down to earth family like movie. Of course, one of the funnier bits is obviously the big meme that came out of it. I don't know if you've seen it. Nope. It revolves around this hippo called Moto Moto. <laughs> who oh, was, I, oh, no, I have seen that one. I know yes. that one. Are you sure that wasn't the first one? That's the second one. I can't miss it. Okay, that's why I keep getting confused. I feel like the second one's part of the first. That's why. (laughs) That's why you like it. The meme or the film? Which one do you prefer? The meme or the film? (laughs) The film. I came before the the meme. The meme is funny, but the the movie is good, too. Just the whole theme of family is good. And, you know, I like it. I like it. Some good voices joined this movie, too, including the late Bernie Mac as uh, Alex's dad. He was very good here, too. I think this was his only verse work that he did while he was alive, too, so very different. So enjoy. Uh, number five, Megamind. Megamind! Megamind. Now, here's what I like about Tell us about it. First, first thing, oh, tell you about it. It's okay. Let me get the plot up. I'll start from the top. <clears throat> <laughs> Megamind Metro Man are long, lifelong rivals in Metro City, Michigan. Both oh. are, okay, that's a lot to read. I'm, I'll just tell you. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> end of story, there's a giant plot twist, but you won't see it coming. You won't see this plot twist coming. Uh, it's a great film. I think when you see it, first time I saw it, I think I liked it, but not as much as when I saw it the second time and the third time, because then I started to know who's in it. Once I know who's in it, I suddenly like it a lot more. Oh, all right. I don't know why. I like might like a movie a lot beforehand, but then I watch it again. I like it a lot more. And then once I know who's actually in it, I like it. I now like this movie a lot. Yes, and I'm going to be talking about the voices, whether it made my list or my honorable mentions list. We'll have to find out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, let me just say it's a great film with a, and I like the plot sources in it. It's really about good versus evil. Evil becomes good. Average becomes bad. Good defeats bad. New good defeats bad. Bad retires. Good doesn't retire. Good succeeds. Good moves on. Lives a nice uh, rest of life. It's like that. It's more like the Grinch, but it's like the <laughs> Grinch. But yeah, with a, with a, it is. You have a person, and then his heart grows three times bigger. But it's not really three times. I'm not sure how many times it does, but. He becomes nice. Megan Mines becomes yeah, nice. It's, it's and, of, but yeah, it is pretty much the Grinch with no with less well, Christmas. It's, it's a Grinch my, with a cameraman. It's a Grinch with an evil cameraman. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's the deleted scene in the Grinch that you haven't seen yet. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I do have no idea. Are you talking about Jim Carrey Grinch or animated Grinch? <laughs> I'm not sure. It could be any of them. Okay. Uh, any of them. There's a deleted scene in both of them. Of where right. the cameraman who films it turns evil. You haven't seen it, but it's out there. Right. And right. it's called Mega Minds. They made a film about it. Uh, yeah. I definitely recommend seeing it if you haven't already. And if you have, watch it again. Uh, what's your number five pick? My number five pick, sir. It should come as no surprise if you know this movie. My number five pick is... I had to make sure I get up on the camera. Uh, Kung Fu Panda 1, the first one. Wow. First one only made it to number five. I get it, but I, I like that film a lot. Now, the reason why I picked Kung Fu Panda, the first one, as my number five pick, because the movie introduces, of course, the lovable Poe, played by Mr. J.B., Jack Black, we respect Jack Black in this house, uh, who wants to get involved with the Furious Five, um, led by, you know, from big to small, uh, Tigers being the biggest one out of the pack, and the smallest one being the Mantis. (laughs) 
So seeing Poe try to work his way from becoming uh, uh, someone who works in the restaurant biz with his father, who's like, oh, no, you should stay here with me, son. You, 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 you're not ready for that. That's too dangerous for you. Uh, <laughs> to becoming part of the Furious Five. I guess he'll be the Furious Six, maybe. I don't know. They never really changed the number up. Uh, was interesting. It was a lot of good action scenes. Um, the villain choice, not exactly my favorite. I actually prefer one of the other movies' villains, but I'll get down to that down the line. Whether that makes my list or my honorable mentions list. Um, and all in all, it's a really good action flick. Um, has his down moments. Uh, of course, there's another Dream Wars movie that has a meme from that. Uh, <laughs> the old master. <laughs> uh, one of his quotes is a popular meme. My time has come. <laughs> That's a, a big meme has come for that. So everybody loves that scene. Oh, it's a good movie. What can I say? <laughs> it's a great movie. And yeah. go watch it. Go watch Any it. More? Yeah. Any more you want to say about it before I go on to my number four? That is it. Go on to your number four pick, sir. Uh, my number four pick is the man of my B movie. B movie. All yeah. right. I like that. I like that. Well, firstly, it's it's more like a comedy special film, but in the form of a B. They have a person. It's bees who are lawyers. Bees who go to court. Bees who are in the army. It's all about bees. There's a lawyer who's a bee who goes to a human court to debate his case. Really? It's, yes. Yes, there is. Uh, I remember watching that scene. And now this is what I like about it. I like the jokes. I like the sketches almost. Uh, when, what's his name? When he did the interview, when the bee went and did the inter- interview about the honey, about the honey going, and he... Mm. You remember one? It's been a while since I've seen it in full. I just remember well, like the funny parts. Uh, well, I will say it. The B interview movie. Here we go with Larry King. Oh, B Larry King. That's all you had to say. Yeah. I was trying to think that's, like that's why whew. I you know how I came across that scene when he died, unfortunately. But that's how I remember that. And it's a great scene, and I'm. It's that's why I like that's one of my favorite scenes of the film now. Yeah, yeah. It's a great scene, and what I like about it is it's like a sketch has jokes in it. It's just like when they did it in real life. They had an interview uh, speaking about the film, uh, and then in the, when in the actual film they had a very similar interview. Yeah. So it's like a parody of real life, and <laughs> you have to watch the clip of it, but. Be yes, Larry be King. Larry King. <laughs> and if you don't like the film, you need to buzz off. Right. And also, be sure to check out the court scene where Oprah oh, plays I like the that. Be sure. Be sure. Buzz or be sure. Oh, yeah. And check oh, out no the court scene. Uh-huh. There was no pun intended there? No pun intended? Oh, yeah. there? No pun intended there? I thought that was a pun. Buzz off. Yes. Yeah. No, mm. no, your one. You said be sure. I thought that was a pun. I thought we were both doing puns. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Sorry about the oh. mix. Uh, but yeah, yeah, good, good choice. Good choice. Good choice. Um, Thank you. I like the film. You have to watch it. It's like, it's like a, again, it's like a stand-up show, but uh, in a, about to be in a movie row. No, in the, yeah, I'll be in a movie row. Anyway, that's my number four pick. What's your number four pick? My number four pick, Mr. Kurt, e. that's me. Elton. Uh, <laughs> um, I guess one word to describe <laughs> some of the funny parts of this movie. Donkey. My first <laughs> number four pick is Shrek One, the first one. You remember that one? Yeah, I'm just. I yeah, I'm not gonna spoil my list, but that is a. Very good film. I I like the voices and fun facts. The 
the person who played Shrek, they weren't originally going to go with him. Like many movies, they never go with the person they originally want, but then yeah. they end up being better than the original person you wanted. Uh, well, I've forgotten who it was, but the original well, person they wanted to voice Shrek. Yeah, who was it? The person uh, they wanted to have voice Shrek was the late comedian who was on SNL, Chris Farley. Yeah, he was one of them. But I think they had two choices, him and someone else. Do you know the other one? Choice. I remember Chris Farley being like in consideration. Yeah, that would have been good, but I preferred it as it was. Anyway, Shrek is uh, the introduction to this classic fairy tale anthology where you got this grumpy ogre who has to go and and then find the princess after he gets swarmed with all kinds of unnecessary pests <laughs> and he ends up falling in. Who the dreaded four-letter word? Love. <laughs> it's a classic fairy tale story. You have a uh, uh, princess who is woken up by a man. Uh, oh no, princess who is saved by a uh, in a wait who is saved, but from yeah. a dragon. Saved from a dragon. You got it. Uh, by a prince, but who isn't a prince in this case, and the prince who isn't a prince is actually an ogre. You know the classic. So I know Shrek as a whole is a very good trilogy. No, it's yeah. for them. It's a very good sequ- sequence of movies, but each individual one, I don't know which one's the best because they've each got their own good and bad sections, but overall combined, it's a very That's good... Good they're very good films. Yeah. Uh, plus the fourth one. Have you seen the fourth one? Shrek. Shrek and Raffer, Raffer, yes, I have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that is a good one. Away he has children now, and then he wants to go away from his children, and he has to go into a magical land. Uh, no, he has to go uh, wishes. It's about wishes and spells and curses. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that's a good one, too. But it's not on my list. Uh, but speak, I, is that what you have to say about uh, Shrek, your choice? For yes. Four? Okay. I have to my, back and forth. <laughs> my number three choice is drumroll please shrek oh it's such a surprise Um, oh yeah oh the very first i'm I'm coming elizabeth (laughs) (laughs) all right it's shut i you weren't expecting that you had shrek then what i have shrek too right Uh, Shrek one, but this is Shrek one, and what do I like about it? Uh, cue uh playback feature for the last five minutes. All right. Right now you are uh, just playing it all back. Right, just, just, said. just rehearsing it all back. Yeah, what <laughs> what I just said. <laughs> what is your number three pick? My number three pick on the list for today for top ten uh, is the first Madagascar movie, Madagascar One, the main okay, one. Can't pick mine yet. Good. Good. You you can speak happily about it because I got a way to go to with that. No oh, spoilers. Yes. <laughs> yes. I can speak happily about it now. I'm free. I'm free. So. <laughs> Uh, the reason why I like Madagascar 1 is because, uh, you know, it's funny. What can I say? It's, it's, it's got its funny moments. These four animals uh, <laughs> that nearly gets breaking up when the zebra says, I'm sick of this zoo life. I want to be with the, the, the other on the other side. The wild. I was about to say the humans. This is how I get mixed up Madagascar with B-movie. No, this is not humans. <laughs> <laughs> These are other animals. He wants to take a walk on the wild side, so he wants to get away. But the other animals are like, wait a minute, he's not here. They go after him, and they end up on this nice little exotic island of Madagascar, which is real, not a made-up place, uh, where they interact with Yeah, the- Madagascar is in Africa. Yep. No, it's an island off of Africa. <laughs> and <laughs> Sure. Yes. <laughs> It is a real place. Like, yeah, it is. It is real. And they interact with these uh, eccentric lemurs and other animals and <laughs> led by it's their own. There, it's not set there, though. That's just the beginning. Huh? 
That's just the beginning of the film, isn't it? Uh, well, I just pretty much broke down the plot of the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do here. Well, that's what you do. Yeah. At the Web Reviews Podcast, of course. <clears throat> it's not my show. I can do what I like, and I won't face any consequences. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, uh, Madagascar 1 is fun. Uh, my favorite character is always the lead lem- uh, lemur, the king, uh, is voiced by none other than uh, Borat. Very good people. You yeah. have uh, – even the penguins are good. The pe- uh, even the penguins have good people voicing them. Yeah, uh, the penguins, uh, actually, they're, they're the same people that worked on this movie and the animation and everything, the production. So yeah, cool it's still very good. Yeah. And yeah, Julian. It even yeah, even the lemurs are voiced by great people. It's a great. It's got a great cast of people. Now, yeah. it's crackalackin. Crackalackin. Yes. Crackalackin. <laughs> How does mark- it do it? <laughs> a crackalackin. I do. I gotta That's do a crack awesome. rocket person. Like, yeah, I put a little more strain on your voice. <laughs> oh, it's not as bad as Bruce Springsteen, but it's there. <clears throat> But yeah, uh, Madagascar 1 is a good movie. I enjoyed it. Uh, what more can you say? You got to watch it if you haven't. Um, it's good. It's good. There's nothing more that I have to say about that. So you can go on and say your number one, uh, number three pick. I just did my number three pick. Deja Vu. My number two pick. <laughs> it happens. I get mixed up. My number two pick is Kung Fu Panda, the original the main one, the first one. Could you explain why or do we need to do playback? <laughs> <laughs> we don't need playback because this is my number two pick. This needs to have a full 20 minutes spoken about it. Oh I my God, to it. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. right. I'm all <laughs> ready. You better get comfortable. Now, uh, Kung oh. Fu Panda 2, one of my favorite scenes in it is when the panda has to go uh, up the stairs. It's really an accident how he becomes a Kung Fu Panda, how this panda learns to do Kung Fu. He is a restaurant owner, and he has to take out a huge order going up maybe a thousand stairs up to this temple, and he just gets tired. And then he has to go across because by the time he gets up, they close a gate. And now again, I spoil the movie. What happens is he he has a firework. He sits on the firework, and then he's crowned the – what is it called? What do they call him? They're, they're doing a ceremony to name the next person in charge. And he suddenly oh, gets yeah. there in the way. And then he's yeah. in charge. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, he's in. And then he becomes yeah. a, and then the panda become moves away from the restaurant and becomes a kung fu panda. And That's then right. it's it's a great story. The one of the uh, not Yoda. Uh that's a different film. What's his name? And it's not three words. <laughs> yeah. At, you know who I'm speaking about. Right, yeah, uh, now both of us are going to be on the run. <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. Uh, this, we, we can have to... Who's that? Uh-oh. No, no, sorry. Darn it. Here comes the paranoia. They're going to come. They're going to come? I mean, well, I'm just going to have to have myself in eventually. Who is Oh, yeah. Shifu. That's like Yoda, but Shifu. Uh, that should be the... That should be the catchphrase for this episode. Not Yoda, but Shifu. <laughs> uh, he's uh, he's tiny like Yoda, but he has uh, fur and what he is, he's he's a master, he's in charge, and then he trains Poe, and he's trained someone else like Poe, but he becomes evil, he escapes from prison. I like the prison scene where he escapes. That's one of my favorite scenes, and then my final favorite scene in that film is he's holding his fingers together and then he lifts his pinky finger up and poof, huge explosion and he defeats the person who is called uh, Tai Lung. Yeah, I was, I was like, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I got too comfortable and I started going to sleep as soon as you started saying, eh. but yeah, I, Tai Lung. Tai Lung. Good. Anyway, that was 20 minutes, I think. I'm not good with time. Uh, I yeah, think that was 20 I got minutes. A there, so about, about five minutes. I think that was a good record. Yeah. So close so enough. Close enough. 
What's your number two pick? Now, for my number two pick, drum roll, please. My number two pick. Y'all might not be expecting this, but my number two pick is Megamind. Well, I was not expecting that one. <laughs> the car behind you in the background wasn't either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's a car behind me? There's a car I, I heard the background effect that went. <laughs> Let's hope it's not Disney execs. Nope. It, they, no, they, uh, they have to come in by plane, so they'll be here in the next few hours. But they're coming. Uh, now, I'm sure. I was not expecting your pick to be number two for Megamind. I didn't think it would make your list. Yeah, yeah, I know you were going to be like super surprised. I'm, I'm the master. Yeah. Of yeah, you see. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have a copy of his list. I gave him a copy of my list because I was nice enough to offer it. But I don't know what he did because I wanted to be surprised, and surprised I was. Now. And so. Why is Megam? Yeah, surprised I, I was. Yeah. You were bad and walk when I did it. Anyway, Kung Fu Panda 2. No, that's my choice. Megamind, what's your favorite? Why is that your second? <laughs> okay, so Megamind is my favorite pick. Just like you said earlier, I'm not going to do playback because, you know, I, I've had my moments here. But, you know, the, the, the bad guy turned evil plot uh, it, it, is, it, I just never thought of it before giving me Grinch vibes. Maybe because it's not a Christmas movie, but... Now that I'm seeing it, it's like, yeah, I totally see it. This 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 bad guy turning good and doing things that are good, not just to impress the girl, uh, but to actually do better <laughs> was an interesting plot. Um the supporting yes, character is interesting. Um his uh his 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 minion, I, I don't I can't remember his name, but literally is a fish and a <laughs> like a little tank <laughs> and a big robot body uh, was funny. Um, and also Brad Pitt as the, 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 the big superhero uh, Metro man, I believe. Let me see. <laughs> I believe that's his name. It was uh, no. Yeah. Metro man. Metro, Metro man. That was him. All right. All right. <laughs> I know that's not. It was uh, wait, you, you're frozen. Hello. Oh, and we're back. What? See, Horton you're Mansion. back. Okay. Um, Metro Man is name, and that's one of the reasons I liked it because even though he's in it for not a lot of seconds, plot twist: he dies. Metro Man at the beginning. Another plot twist: he comes back to life. Right. And I don't know if anybody could ever do that. You know, this brand. Yeah. Brand. Because turns out, another uh, spoiler alert: he faked his death. Yes. And then he gets fat for some reason and retires from being right. Metro Man. He's like the DreamWorks version of Superman. Right. Actually, that's that's exactly who he is. Superman. <laughs> yeah. He's Superman who retires. It, that's one of the reasons it's a funny film. Right. And it's kind of... <laughs> Sorry, the dog in the background. Oh, there's going to be a lot of good editing today. A lot of good editing. <laughs> you didn't know when you got that dog that you're going to have... That's an extra two hours of editing on each episode. Yeah. But it's worth it. But it's, it's worth it, yeah. Worth it. yeah. Like I was saying before, my concentration was thrown off back there by barking and barking. Um, I think, yeah, if you have Superman, like, you know, the qualities of a Superman and the mannerisms and the costumes of Elvis Presley... You got Metro Man. <laughs> yes. You do, and you, you have Mega Mind, Metro Man, and the villain. Who's a bad person? Yeah, the villain who, who his name, his name is Titan. Well, his original name was Hal, but his, his villain name is Titan. Hal Titan. That is it's his not name. Spelled. T-I-T-A-N. Wait a minute. <laughs> Why are you on the internet? Oh, yeah, he is. How Stewart. How Stewart becomes Titan. And as always, it goes to show you, good always wins over evil. Yeah. And what good also does is make a good person. No, what a bad person. The bad 
Vega Mind made the bad good person turn bad and who then tried to defeat Mega Mind who turned good. Correct. See you And that's the plot of the movie. And luckily uh, DreamWorks isn't as powerful as Disney, so we didn't don't, don't need to worry about these things. Actually, I'm sure Disney will give us now a uh, you know security protection for spoiling these films. Um yeah, Mega Mind is a really funny movie, like I said, you know. Good guys turning bad, and it's good. It's really good. It's really good. And I'm looking at the pictures from the premiere of the movie. I gotta give Will Ferrell, who voices Megamind, props for actually committing to the character by actually dressing up like him, blue makeup and all, at the premiere of the movie. <laughs> you gotta look it up. He did? Yes. <laughs> the commitment in turning yourself blue for one hour. But yeah, I would have done that. So I would have done that too. That's something I would have done. Right, like, oh, it's just a premiere. <laughs> Ain't nothing really, yeah. you know. Just a premiere. How dare you? Man, one of the greatest things in human history. Now, <laughs> now when, did it? Did the film do well, by the way? Uh, Megamind, you asking? Yes. Yes, the Mega Mind movie did pretty good. It made uh, over three hundred million dollars worldwide against the hundred and thirty million dollar plus budget. Oh, <laughs> so that's a, good. That's big money. I wish they yeah. could have that money. We're, we're, oh, we're, and it took the number more. one spot on the th- opening three day weekend. Number one spot. Oh, and it repeated number one in its second weekend. So it was a very good film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They obviously liked it. Now, yeah, it was a very good film. That's why they liked it. Now, also because who, who was in it? Because some people would just watch any movie with those voice actors in it. Of course. So, yeah, like me. Now, <laughs> yeah. anything else to say about your number two pick? Uh, That is it. Mega Mind is it. There's One more thing I have to say, to say about that and then the B-movie, which was my number four pick. If you look at images online... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Mr. Butcher. Mr. Butcher, Mr. Go ahead. Uh, if you look online at the actual characters and their images and their mannerisms and how they move and how they speak... Well, speak, yeah, because they're playing them. But the people who play them and the actual characters are playing... They always look and move the same. They look and move the same. They have the same characteristics and mannerisms. Mm -hmm. Like if you look at the picture for the B movie, he looks all relaxed and to the side, just like uh, Seinfeld who played him. And then if you look at Mega Mind, uh, you know the person who plays Titan, Jonah Hill? He looks just like Titan. Absolutely. Um, He's They look the same and they have, so they made them look the same. And, of yeah, and uh, with as you said with Will Ferrell, uh, what he did, he they didn't make him look, they didn't make them look the same. He had to get dressed up the same. So Megan Mind inspired his new look. It's the opposite. Yes. For Comic Con, not to premiere. Oh, yeah. absolutely not. Yeah, imagine sitting and watching a movie in that makeup for an hour. That wouldn't be comfortable. Uh. Now, are we ready for the number one pick? Yes, your number I said, one. Are we ready for the number one pick? I said I'm ready for the number one pick. You better do it. Well, drum roll. Fabulous. Now, my number one pick is oh. Madagascar. Ah. All right. Not, not the second one. But. Not the one. Oh, of course not. Not the fourth one. <laughs> of course not the first yeah. one. Ah. Why do I like this film? Why? Yeah, that's a great question. One second. <laughs> now, I, I like the film. One, I like the name. It's a film about Madagascar. Uh, but, see, they're very good titles. I don't know. With the Avengers, you have Avengers Endgame, which is like, that's one word in the whole film they use. 
it's the end game now. And they named it end game. They'll trip it. But there hasn't been a Madagascar in game yet. Hmm? There hasn't been a Madagascar in game yet. There hasn't been. There's been an Avengers end game. And the, yeah. the titles are usually cryptic. Here, they just go all out and say yeah. Madagascar. Or it, where is it set? Madagascar. That's why it's called it. it here, here's what it is. Uh, he's a lion who gets taken at a young age. Oh, yeah, I remembered something. I'll say it later uh, about this film. Uh, he gets taken in a box at a young age, travels to New York to go to the zoo, and he becomes like a... He becomes a lion who is an entertainer. Hello. He's there with the... He's there with all the other animals who... He comes there, he's a center of attention. Then you have the other animals who are with him. They aren't the center of attention, but they're just there uh, because that's where they are and that's where the movie told them to be. Now, if that makes sense, uh, can't say any clearer than that. Now, yeah. they, escape from, they escape from jail, which is a zoo to them. They escape from the zoo and where do they go? Do they travel back? Um, to the zoo? No, they escape the zoo. Uh, oh, when they they escape the zoo. Oh, yeah, they end up in the jungles of Madagascar. So they en- they go from Madagascar to the zoo, back to Med- and then they uh, escape back to Madagascar. What I do like is the old lady in it. Oh, yes, with the pocket. Well, How can we start? Who keeps kicking Kim, who keeps kicking uh, the lion, Alex, all the time, yeah. every time they see and, yeah, that's her. Uh, for a perspective of who she looks like, I think, from what I remember, does she look like Despicable Me's crew's mother? <laughs> uh, a little bit. <laughs> Is that, yeah, that's a reference to what she looks like, just kicks more. Uh, and I like it, and the voices are great. Again, the voices are great, yeah, Marty and Julian play. I'm not going to tell you who's in it because they're all, every single person who's in it, very famous and very good people who are in this particular movie at this particular time. Now, what I find intriguing about this movie is the film itself. Now, what's your take on it? Uh, That's well, analysis. what I like about the movie is the film itself. What's your analysis? Uh, well, <laughs> for Madagascar, it's just continuing like you said. It's it's a good movie, you know. These animals going over to Madagascar, letting themselves loose. They have no restrictions that they had at the zoo. You know, you got to go to sleep at a certain time of the day. Uh, you got to eat this type of food to make sure your 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 skin is you know silky smooth, especially you know for. Alex, you know, he's a lion. You got to make sure that mane is fresh and smooth. But <laughs> all of these restrictions going away and letting themselves loose. What's interesting to see uh, is, is something that another Disney, forgive me, Disney, another Disney movie tried to do. I'm not going to name the movie, though. I just, I'm not trying to get sued. I'm just saying it was a Disney movie that would follow <laughs> that tried to do some, something similar to this, but it wasn't very... Uh, dare I say it, successful. <clears throat> and what was that film called? No, nah, I'm not trying to get sued. You see, this is how you try to get me in there. You know, asking me a simple question and I say it, and then all of a sudden I hear sirens. You've got to look it up. It starts uh, starts with the letter W. That's all you need to know. <laughs> starts with the letter W. Yes. The hmm. W. <laughs> w. Uh. I don't remember that. What's it about? I, off the record, you'd have to record this. I just want to know the name of the film. Okay. Well, the name of the movie is The Wild. I don't even remember the plot. I haven't seen it in years. But um, <laughs> it's it's about some animals escaping New York to go somewhere in the wild. And what's it <laughs> called? The Wild. Oh, I haven't heard of it. Is it Disney? Yes. Okay. Well, then it wasn't famous, so it wasn't supposed to be a movie. No, <laughs> not at all. Okay. I think Disney's forgotten this, Disney, so you're all good. You're not going to get sued. But that was off the records. So. You're going to cut it. <laughs> yeah. Now, 
Where were we? Oh, yeah, you were saying it. Uh, you were speaking about something. Uh, you were speaking about the film I was discussing, which was Madagascar. And the world. Yeah, back to Madagascar. But yes, Madagascar is a great movie. Enjoyed it. It's, it's the first one. I, I like the movie. It, movie it is a is a banger. It's a banger. That's what they say nowadays. It's a banger. Um, it's it's a memorable movie. It has memorable moments if you actually grew up with it. Um, what more can I say? It's you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. Yeah. You gotta watch the first one. You have to watch the second one. And you have you've got to, to watch the third one. And the fourth one if they make one. <laughs> Well, there is a film called Penguins in Madagascar, which I guess is, and then I think they made a Penguins movie, too. Right. It's, it's so unofficially it, the fourth one. I would say unofficially because it only has some of the characters from the Madagascar movies in there, which is the Penguins. And that, <laughs> yes. Ah, Penguins movie is called Penguins in Madagascar. It is a real movie. Yeah. Just, it didn't do well. Yeah. <laughs> What can you do about it? Oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong film. It might have done well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it, it it did very well. Oh good. 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 Turns out the one I was looking at was a documentary about penguins. Was it uh, March of the Penguins or the adult one? <laughs> I'm not sure. It was just called Penguins. Came out 2019. Oh, that might be something Disney did or something. Yeah, no, no, that's a documentary, but probably. Uh, it did very well, Penguins of Madagascar, but my, that's not my pick. My pick is Madagascar, the original, because of who's in it, what it's about, it's and the funny things they've got in it. And how the lion, who's meant to be a fighter, turns into a weak, not weak, a funny a weak. show lion. Well, he is weak in a way. When he goes back to Africa and he has to fight another lion, he doesn't do well. And then he does... What is it? Cat hands and wild things. I mean, there's... I'm not <laughs> sure what it is. That's exact words, I think. Yeah. I think he did... Yeah. He does, like, a singing bachelor or something. What is <laughs> it? Uh, streets. I don't know. What's your number <laughs> one... Oh, wait. What was it? He goes back and... My number that. one is... Okay, what's your number one? My number one pick is I have to do my own drum roll because I have to hype myself up. The number one pick on my list is Shrek 2. Which one? The second one, Shrek 2. <laughs> Make sure you hear it. Ah, Shrek 2. I. Now, which one is that? That is the one where uh, Shrek meets Fiona's parents and tries to get separated by her fairy godmother. Her fairy godmother tries to separate them so her Prince Charming son can marry Fiona instead. You gotta that check. makes sense. Uh, oh. All I know is combined, all of them are very good. But mm -hmm. each individual one, I don't know the difference. I haven't seen them in that long. Yeah. But the voices, what do you like about it? Well, go on, you have the floor. Tell me everything. You got 20 minutes. Whatever you like. <laughs> well, I'm the host now. Come on. I had to have more than 20. But uh, to save myself the time with the editing, of course, I'm going to chop some of this down if I pander off into something. But the thing that I really liked about Shrek 2 was it continues off the uh, the plot of the first one, the whole fairy tale story, and then conflict comes off, you know, after they, you know, Shrek and Fiona get married and come back on their honeymoon. They think they're going to have a good time to relax. It all starts with, you know, Donkey being all depressed that he won't get to spend time with Shrek alone like he used to before Fiona came in the picture and blah, blah, blah. Then this whole, you know, thing where uh, the decree says that the parents would like to meet Shrek, but they don't know. He's an ogre, <laughs> not a prince. <laughs> so mm. the whole meeting is awkward. While the, 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 the queen mom is a little more open to him, the, the, the king, the father is like, no, we can't have an ogre married to our daughter because he turned her into an ogre. <laughs> so there's a bit of conflict between them. So he goes out to try to have him uh, murdered. 
Yeah. By uh, Puts and Boots. And unfortunately, <laughs> I have to say this with a heavy heart, but Shrek dies. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's so it's it's so depressing. I'm just I'm just joking. I'm just joking. If you haven't seen the movie, <laughs> uh, the spoiler alert: Puss in Boots fails badly. Cause think about the size. Shrek is a tall guy. You me Google Puss Shrek too to see if he dies. I didn't think he died because there wouldn't be a sequel. It's yeah. Shrek three or four. But oh, here's a hint for anyone who wants to know if a per- main character dies in a film. If they made a sequel or or in a TV show, if it's only the second episode of a TV show and it's been renewed for another season, they don't die. They survive. Yeah, don't don't listen to the Western Wonder pandering here. I just wanted to be dramatic and say that he died. But it wouldn't make sense anyway, because there's a third or fourth movie. Yeah. Now, but, really work around so, the yes. Yeah. Oh, now I remember. Uh, Person Boots is an assassin, and then he gets uh, eventually his own movie. And they... Uh, they become friends with each other and then they get their own movie. Do you like Puss in Boots or the movie? Um, the movie about a cat movie. in <laughs> boots. He wears boots for some reason. Um, yeah, well, uh, and I think he's based off because of, you know Shrek is a fairy tale kind of thing. There's some fairy tale elements. I think Puss in Boots is actually based off of a real, like a similar fairy tale caricature. I just can't put my, uh, my 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 mind to it right now. Um, but uh, let me see. Is Puss and Boots? Yep. Yeah. Okay. P- Puss and Boots is definitely an actual, based off of an actual fairy tale creature named Puss and Boots. <laughs> but the movie was the movie was good. Um, a lot of these movies that I were mentioning have a lot of memes that are pop that have been popular these past couple of years. But um, it it didn't make my list. It might make my honorable mentions. But I, I so have it is. Huh? So it is in your honorable mentions. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. That's for us to determine. <laughs> well, we'll find out soon. Yes, in just a moment. But yeah, put put some poops being introduced as this character who's trying to be intimidating and uh tries to tries to kill off Shrek was unsuccessful. Him and Donkey have a little bit of tension because Donkey was the OG sidekick and having another sidekick come in and, and getting along with Shrek when it's usually him who's used to making all the jokes, there's tension. But everybody eventually becomes all friends and everything and work together to save the day where Fiona doesn't end up marrying the wrong Shrek. <laughs> An imposter rap. It's a wild movie. They sound like wild movies and go watch them. Right, right. That was before Among Us. <laughs> Prince Charming was the imposter. Wow. Wait, so Prince Charming turned into an ogre. Funny how the world changes on you. So, I, I don't get that, but that's funny. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> if you twist it like that, yeah. But it's a good movie. Check no, it, it out. It is right. funny. That's funny. So he's uh, Prince Charming, and then he wants to become less charming. He wants to turn into an ogre. <laughs> well, that, if he can flip it around, he, he's he's pretending to be Shrek so he can get he can marry Fiona, but they're humans because <laughs> Shrek. Oh Lord, I'm trying not to spoil too much in the movie. Um, <laughs> I, I spoiled all the other movies. What does one more make? Right, Shrek gets fairy, the fairy godmother's uh, human potion to make him turn human, and Donkey turns into a stallion, so he's pretty too. Uh, <laughs> and since so Shrek is hey. a human, right? No, is he? <laughs> Not nay. <laughs> nay. That's so, I okay. So he is. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. So Donkey's the stallion. Shrek is a human. This uh, makes the plan for him trying to get back with Fiona even worse because, you know, fairy godmother's son, Prince Charming, is a human. So she's like, oh, he's a human. This will be better. So it'll be less confusing. You can use this as an escape. And it's a whole mix up. So Shrek has to save the day and make sure he wow. gets back to his loving wife before Prince Charming gets to her and he's all lonely and has no wife. It's just him and Donkey and the cat put some boots. It's a sound. Wow. Okay. That's a lot to take in. And then there's spoiler two more alert. of those. Yes. Yeah, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler alert. Shrek does not die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<sighs> spoiler yeah. alert, they made a new film. They made another film about him. Another yeah. spoiler alert, they made another few more films about him. Spoiler yeah. alert, they've stopped making tricks. Right. I think. I'm not sure. Sometimes I Google to see if there's any more movies like that in review and or being made. And some I found out yesterday there was this film. It's being made from around 12 years ago, and they've been trying to make it for 12 years, and it's nowhere near hasn't even hasn't been filmed yet. So Uh-oh. they might be making a new Shrek. They might. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Those are the only two options. <laughs> <laughs> So you're right. Uh, honorable list? Yes, my honorable mentions. <laughs> say, it with, say it with honor and dignity. Go on. You first. I must. Yes. My honorable mentions that have made my list include these five movies. We have Kung Fu Panda 2. Oh. Wow. Lushed wait. Away. Lushed Away. Over the Hedge. Mm. Shark Thing. And How to Train Your Dragon 2. The second. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I tried to say it with as much dignity as possible. Did it work? Yes, yes, it did. Good. And I could feel it from here. That was very dignified. Now, those are good lists. Now, from this list of uh, films that DreamWorks has made, my honorable mentions are The Bus Baby, the first. The first. Because there's the only second, one out right now. Yeah, the second, second one hasn't come out. Y- yes. Yes, it is. Kung Fu yeah. Panda 3 will be on the lower end of my honorable mention list because even though I liked it slightly, I felt like it was t- was more of a sequel than an original classic. Aha! Uh-huh. Which, if you don't know what that means, that means that it's more of a very fun, like, kid show type of thing than an actual film. And that's me being very harsh, even though <laughs> I liked it a lot. So my harsh is still very nice. That's, uh... Oh, no. Can't take that from my honorable list. Remove it. <laughs> uh, uh, penguins. No, no, no. Madagascar 2. That okay. is on my honorable list, mainly because I forgot to, I never saw it in my first list, so I didn't have time to include it because I misread the website. Otherwise, it would have been in my top ten list. Right. Mr. Peabody and Sherman. That's ah. Yes. Ah, uh, indeed. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> wow. Ooh, wow. Okay. Now, how to train your dragon number two? Because I didn't see the. Th- I think I saw the third. I didn't really uh, know much about it. But they made the fourth. Did you know they made the fourth one? I haven't uh, seen the fourth what? one. Fourth, how to train your dragon. Oh, they did. They did. But I haven't seen it. I haven't seen I got, either, I but, <laughs> but the second one made uh, had a sad ending. Uh, what well, the sad ending is is the father or the king Viking dies at the end, and I'm not lying, that actually happens. And I know I shouldn't spoil it, but that's still. Uh, oh <laughs> no, but I know I shouldn't spoil it. Uh, and finally, for my final one and my honorable mention list is. Wait, uh, how, yeah, is, I want to say, Shrek Forever After, Puss in Boots, and The Crudes. That's all of them? Sorry, I had to make sure that was all of them. All right, good. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, so you, you have to look that closely to make sure I got them all, to, to make sure I got them all. Yeah, so you don't go, while we're thinking, yeah. sense, so you go, oh, I forgot one. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I, I sometimes use a magnifying glass to look at my phone. 
and a telescope sometimes to make sure I get everything in it. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, those are my choices for my honorable mention list. Well, they really were as the rest of the DreamWorks movies, which I've seen. Now, anything else you want to add? Well. Well, it's your show. Of course you do. Go on. Oh. <laughs> of course it's my show. Of course it's my show. All I got to say about these honorable mentions is, while I didn't make my list, they're all good in their own rights for their own reasons. Much, much more than we could discuss for another time. Uh, I don't want to delve too much into this, but all I got to say is you got to check some of these movies out. If you haven't, they might be interesting to you. Just be sure to check out the plot and the information first before you go into it so you don't watch it and be like, well, thanks to the Western wonder, I wasted an hour and 30 minutes of my life watching something that I'm not really interested in watching. That's what Google is for. So please. <laughs> Google the information first of the stuff, uh, and perhaps you might actually find an interest in uh, watching them. <laughs> Same thing goes for Kurt's honorable mentions. <laughs> See, we've been here for a while. His hair has been here and there, and I'm not trying to fall asleep out here. It's, it, it was a long, long discussion. <laughs> yeah, well, it was. I have a time here. That was long. This will be cut down from one hour, 40 minutes by the time this recording ends, to well, 20. Or, if we could do 20, we'll have to see. Yeah, you never know. You might hear the whole one hour, 40 minutes. <laughs> right. <laughs> All content is good content. But yes, that will conclude. All content is good content except the bad content, which is bad content. But most content is good content. So I feel content about the good content. Right. And I, I hope so, too. It should come out really good now that we got better quality. Uh, moving faster now. My camera's not too slow. This should be good. This should be really yeah. good. So, uh, yeah, that concludes our top ten list and our honorable mentions of DreamWorks movies. Uh, and that concludes this episode since, you know, we've been here for a while. We, we, we've, uh, we put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into our list. So don't, don't ever forget us. Uh, 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 the 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 movie reviewers out there or podcasters, okay? Um, <laughs> I just had to let you know. Yeah. Have to, uh, we're the real heroes, folks. We're the real heroes. That's right. We are heroes, podcasting heroes. And exactly. uh, once again, it was good having Mr. Kurt on the show with me again as a recurring guest. Let's see, it's like a recurring thing that we do every other month now. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm yeah. glad people to join us again. Oh, it was great to be here. And do, do, do come around again soon. <laughs> oh, I will do. I will do. Next month. Of course. Another month we'll later. Out, we do. Yeah. I'm going to be here a lot. Uh, I'm not going to, unfortunately, be joining your show quite yet. That is your job. I'm not going to become a co-host quite yet. But one day in the future, your show will become mine as I will engulf it, and then you will work for me. We'll see about that. And then we'll, we'll work for Disney. <laughs> which will engulf both of our shows. That will be both of our shows. Because everything will be owned by Disney. Exactly. Day. If you don't get that reference, watch the uh, previous episodes, which will be on my website, to which I will plug in a second. That's right. That's right. Speaking of all that good stuff, Mr. Curtis Elton, where can the good people in podcast land who loves podcasts find your podcast show? Okay, right here. Do you like a nice music, a nice background music, like in the yeah. waiting room music? Do, do, do you yeah, like yeah. waiting room music for this? Like the, the, the waiting room music? I don't know. Fancy music, yeah. Okay, I'll start. Hi, you can find the Listen, Listen, Listen podcast on Apple, Spotify, wherever you, yeah, you get your shows. You can listen, whatever I just told you, you can Google the show online at listen at www.listenlistenlistenpodcast.com. You can tweet me at list, list, listen pod. That is at list, list, listen pod. And same for Instagram, Twitter, good pods, wherever you get your social media. See you soon. All right. And that's how you do it. And you can find me the ever, ever so mysterious Western one. I guess I'm not mysterious anymore now that you see my face. 
on the Western Reviews Podcast on Twitter. You can follow me at reviews underscore Western. That is reviews underscore Western. And on my Instagram, you can follow me at Western Reviews Official, uh, where you can find more information about my show, upcoming releases, and uh, my secondary music podcast that I just launched with a pilot uh, less than a month ago titled the Two Grumpy Music Snobbers Podcast. Who knows? You might have uh, Curtis Elton as a grumpy music snob of himself. We just got to make up a voice if that happens one day, if we don't find something to do in June. Uh, we'll get to that, though. Uh, and uh, once again, you can find us on all pod platforms. You follow us there. You can find us on Apple Podcasts. You can find us on Spotify. You can find us on iHeartRadio. You can find us on Google Podcasts, wherever you so please to listen to your podcast. <sighs> Be sure to listen. Because we're a lot of fun. <laughs> and that is a wrap. Please stay tuned for further upcoming episodes from both of our podcasts. And uh, we hope to see you on the other side. Please be sure to check out our previous collaborations and uh, previous episodes. And we hope to see you in both of our podcasts very soon on the next one. Kirk, once again, it's been great. We have to do this next time. <laughs> see you soon, folks. See you soon. Thanks for listening. Absolutely. And enjoy. Bye-bye. <laughs>